Hey everyone, this is a very quick tutorial on how to add finger, like, bones to bend your fingers on your model. So, as you can see, um, I have two Aya models. One of them has the finger bones, the other one does not. The one I selected does not have the finger bones, so if you want to bend her fingers, you have to do it like... Uh, manually. Just spin them like that manually, and that just takes too damn long, because I'm a lazy person. The other Aya model has the finger model, so you can just select that, rotate it, and the fingers bend. All of them bend. If you want to, like, do a certain hand pose, you just have to do it manually, I'm sorry. But if you just want to have her ball her fists up, it does it for you. Yay for balling the fists up. And this tutorial is going to show you how to do just that with PMX Editor. So what we're going to do first is we're going to open up PMX Editor, which I have right here. And I will put a link in the description of the version I use. I got it from, I think, DeviantArt. But anyway, you're going to open up... <coughs> Damn, I'm just coughing all over the place. You're going to open up your Aya model, which is this one for me because it does not have the finger bones. And what we're going to do is you're going to select the right wrist. Um, this is her right wrist. It may seem like the left, but it's actually her right because if you go backwards... Yeah, I'm not going to explain all, explain all that. It's just too easy. <coughs> and you're going to select the right wrist bone, which is... This one. You're going to go into here and you're going to find the bone tab. And you're going to write down the number, which is 36, and you're going to copy... <clears throat> I'm coughing, God. You're going to copy the very first symbol, which basically means right. You're going to scroll down, right click, add at the end, and you have this thing right here at the end. You're going to paste the right symbol. You're just going to add fingers. You don't really have to type in Japanese here. You just have to add that Japanese symbol and then fingers. Then you're going to go to where the feet are, which is usually where the bone goes. I don't know why it goes to the feet, but it does. And you're just going to move it to position, which obviously, you don't really have to move it to the hands, but it makes more sense if you do. It's kind of weird if you don't move it to the hands. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just, oh, no. Kind of move it wherever you want to move it. like. But it makes more sense to move it to the hands. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to take, of course, the finger bone. And remember the uh, number that we wrote down? That's the parent bone, which is 36, which is the right... Whatever the number the right wrist is, it does... Usually, for mine, it's 36, but it could be a different number. You never know. Select that, which is the bone, negative 1. Just keep it as that. Axis limited. Make the last one 1. And there you go. Now, what you have to do now is select the fingers. Do not select the thumbs. Wait, where did the... Oh god, where did the finger bone go? Wrong one. The finger bone has just went missing. Seriously, where did the finger bone go? Did it move back down there? It did! Son of a bitch. I don't know why it did that. It just... Did I click something? I don't know. Or push something on the keyboard? I don't know. If I just move it back to position. <clears throat> I have no idea why I did that. Can I just... Yeah, move it to where the fingers are. Makes more sense. Okay. Now we have that. Make sure it's... Still 36, 1... Yes, okay. Now you're going to select the fingers bones, and like I said before, do not select the thumb bones. <coughs> Just the finger bones. What is this bone? I have no idea what that bone is. What is it for? I can't read that. Um, anyway. <laughs> you thought I could read Japanese? No, I can't read Japanese. Maybe you Just select it anyway. Screw it. But not the control bone. Just the fingers. Do not select the thumbs, like I said. 
<coughs> all of them will be selected here. What you're going to do is you're going to click on this right here where it says rotation and you're going to type in whatever number the right finger bone is, which for mine is 218, so you're going to type in 218, or whatever the number is for the finger bones right here. So it doesn't necessarily have to be 218. And let's see, I think that's it. Yep, I think that's it. So just go to transform view and test it out to make sure that I didn't fuck up somewhere. So I'm pretty sure that's right. Yeah, okay. I did it right, yay. But you're not done yet, you have to do the other side, which there's an easy way to do. Just go to, just select the finger control bones, go to edit, select object, and then mirror image object, and then push yes. And as you can see, hooray. And for some reason, it automatically puts left on it. You see, right, left, it automatically does left. This one right here left but um, you need to assign it to the left wrist bone so click the left wrist bone look at the number which for me it's 35 is that it 35 yeah let's go down here and then parent bone 35 make sure it's 35 yeah so that parent bone should be wait no, that parent bone should be 36, and this one should be 35. Why did I click the other one? So yeah, make sure the left is the left wrist bone, the right parent, for the parent is the right wrist bone. Yeah, it makes pretty much sense. And it automatically goes for the fingers, so you don't really have to worry about assigning the fingers. It Just assign the, yeah. You see it bends the fingers. Okay, that's kind of creepy. You see, it bends the fingers. Just no more playing, Dolly. No more playing. And that is how you assign wrist or finger control bones. Now, this part is very important. You have to save it. Go to File, Export, and you have to save it as a PMX file. So .PMX. Do not save it as a PMD. I'm not sure what happens if you save it as an X, but it's an accessory if you save it as an X, so don't do that. PMX. If you save it as a PMD, the finger control bones, they they don't really work very well. They make your fingers go all cray cray, and you don't want that. Just PMX, push save, which I already have her, so I'm not going to save her. And then you can open her up in MMD and just have fun with the fingers. Oh god, that's fuck creepy. <laughs> um, so that's basically how you <coughs> add finger control bones, and I really hope this helped you all. Um, stay tuned for a MMD tutorial on how to do shit in MMD. Maybe, I don't know if I'll do that or not, but I might, I might not. I'm probably going to continue Madfather in MMD instead of MMM because MMD has more um, effects <laughs> and MMM only has like, what, 10 effects and half of them are shit, <laughs> except for like two of them, which is the ones I used for part two, but I'm going to remake part two, what I have so far of it, into MMD because of the effects. So yeah, um, anyway, so I hope this tutorial helped and... Look forward to part two of Mad Father. Yay for part two of Mad Father. And I will talk to you baby children soon. Bye.